G'day guys and welcome to a new road trip video. My name is Simeon Baker and I'm going to be bringing you on a road trip through Italy. We start off in a pretty classic place, Tuscany, to do some epic photo locations and uh, then we head further east into some less known places I'd never actually heard of. We went to Sibillini Mountains which is absolutely incredible, a lot of wild camping, a lot of cool places there and now we're on the east coast which uh, is a pretty unreal little spot we'll be showing you this whole way. So if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. We're going to be doing a ton of road trips this year. And uh, anyway, for now, we're going to rewind and uh, we'll see you soon. Welcome to a new video, to a new vlog. We have arrived in beautiful Italy. We have just come to the north part of Tuscany. So I've changed the van, I've got Sabina here. She got me here well, long trip. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out our first little location. It's a spot called San Gimanaro. Probably it's not actually called that, but you know, that's the way I pronounce some random Italian words. So let's go check that out. Yeah, bro. Hello guys. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. I'm Mielta. Welcome to Italy. From Belgium. This man is I this man is basically a bit of an FPV king, so I thought why not bring him on a trip? He's a van life king, you're an off-road king, FPV king, photography king, and look at that sweet face. Look at this, look at this good looking man. Ooh. All without the king, but we'll try our best on a trip, see what we can shoot. Definitely. Get some content out. That's um Yelta as well on this trip, he's taken over my last girlfriend on my last two trips, old Chantel. It's the uh, California beach. Anyway, let's go and explore this city. We're going to show you this beautiful place. Tuscany, as you all know, is stunning, but this is the first stop, so let's go. called the City of Towers. Pretty good reason, because check this out. Tower 1, Tower 2, Tower 3, Tower 7. Come to the City of Towers in Northern Tuscany. Sehr schön. Mm, too much driving, not enough eating. We are going to go back to the vans. Get the vans. Check out park for night. Go and find a nice little camp spot here in the the Tuscan Hills and uh, grow some steaks, eh? Yeah, we had our portion of towers Real, some and good coffee. Steaks. Yeah, true. So time for the next spot, eh? Yeah. So let's get searching. So we have arrived at a beautiful place here, just about half an hour south. That's a truly Tuscan campsite. What are we gonna have for our steaks? Yeah, we'll have steaks, eh? Let's do steaks. Let's do it. After the last trip in Portugal, I decided that I was gonna get one of these little Weber grills. Weber, thanks for making a great little barbecue. Makes our life a lot easier, and it's great. Good job. There we go. Oh, oh, oh grill. Oh, oh, grill clean is off. Grill, grill. No table. Table. It's all so nicely trick. put away, eh? It is super good, eh? It's the office chair is ready, man. Look at that. Look at that. Session. Gotta listen for the, for the sizzle, right? That first sizzle. Oh. 
With all this wind, no time. Some steer up. Steer season. Oh yeah, smoking. We had to take the veggies off. Oh, looking mm. great stuff. Great, great. Look at that. Get that on. Keep them warm. Very good. Time to eat, eh? Don't actually know what I'm doing, but we'll get it working. I thought, hey, let's change the coffee setup a bit. So I bought myself an AeroPress, which I know, don't actually know how to use, but we're gonna figure that out. The best thing about this uh, coffee grinder is uh, it looks nice. So we've pulled up at a little awesome campsite here. We left the campsite because it was a bit too muddy at the last one and we didn't really want to be stepping in and out of the vans constantly. We're gonna make a little grill. So basically even though it's raining and miserable and we didn't even get a campsite up the top, we're gonna to make it work. So yeah, let's get that grill on here bro. Good morning. It's another sunrise, pre-sunrise time here in Italy. So, as always, we're gonna go shoot something beautiful. Sorry, about to run off. To, uh, to explore the little medieval town that we shot here at sunrise. But I just wanted to give you a quick few tips about this camping spot up here. So if you can get here before midday, you definitely will get a spot just up there. How much was it, bro? It was like four. Eight euros for 12 hours and then 16 for 24 hours. Yeah, it's not too bad. So electricity, bathrooms. Anyway, that's a bit, a little bit of a spot. It's really close to where you can walk into the town. We're gonna drive there, there's a big park in there, but uh, we made a big mistake, so. We were just parked over this hill in the little nice park. It's free, plenty of space, everything. And then I was like, no, nah, no, nah, let's go and park here. And look, completely busy. It costs money and it took a while to get a park and it's literally just around the corner. So if you're parked at the camp spot, don't come and park here. It's like a short walk and uh, yeah. So rookie mistake. So we arrived. Hey, check this out. This doesn't get doesn't get more Italian in this place. The last couple of weeks, I've been getting a little bit into Polaroid, so I ordered this uh, Instax Wide 300. We stopped for a quick cheeky bit of lunch. I'm getting some tortilla with cheese and pepperoni, but I got my Polaroid shot. It's off just here at the courtyard. It's just a beautiful place so that's the Polaroid of the day I don't know if you can see it can you see it so we just finished lunch here in Monteregiani and uh, before we run away I'm gonna get one more Polaroid just a cheeky extra so let's go and find it but I think I found a spot already but we've got to wait for the right person Look at this view. Absolutely incredible.
Good morning, guys. I just wanted to quickly show you where we camped last night. We drove about 45 minutes uh, from where we kind of ended up uh, shooting the sunset and uh, we parked just here. What we're gonna do now is basically go and uh, photograph one of the most typical Tuscan scenes. So, show you along. Let's, you keen, bro? You keen to shoot some typical, some typical, oh. Bro, you gotta open down the window. You gotta tell the good people, bro. How keen you are to go and shoot some good stuff at six o'clock in the morning? I'm keen when I get there, but right now I'm not keen at all. <laughs> That's the spirit. We've arrived just in time. The sun has literally just come over. The annoying thing is, is there's a little bit of cloud in front of the sun, so you don't get this like pure sunlight, which is always nice. There's only a couple of photographers. So last time I was here, there was about 20 to 30 guys. So let's go and say hi to some photo friends. We are here at one of the most famous kind of, let's say, postcard spots in Tuscany. This little place is uh, pretty much full of photographers every morning, as I said, and for good reason. First of all, it's stunning, but it's also because it's very famous, so they all know where it is and they come here, like we are. So, uh, actually, if you're in Tuscany, it's always cool to go and find other places, but I thought this is a classic spot. We're passing it, and uh, let's go photograph it and show you guys along. So. Soon the best light is gonna hit all the things, so it kind of already should be, but there's some silly clouds kind of in the way. So, anyway, let's go and get the shot. Sorry, I put that for losers. So, it gets pretty crammed here in the morning, as you can see. There's, uh, I see a lot of trees in a lot of the parts where you would view the scene but uh, unfortunately all the Germans get there early and stand in the way so look at this look at this guy handheld 70 millimeters you know. handheld finds a cheeky gap all by himself these Belgians man creative fellas they uh there was a guy with a drone that put it up and they were like Rah. yeah I saw him we're not like shooting you <laughs> so good so uh, Yelta's keen to put his drone up now. <laughs> Making the Germans angry. Very good. Quickly grab some some bakery goods, quick coffee, some uh, breakfast, and uh, get back on the road. Welcome to Assisi, bro. Hello. So we've arrived here at Assisi, and uh, we've just pulled up into a little camp spot. We don't have it booked yet, so we're gonna hope they have a place for us. So we've just checked in. Check out this building. This is the reception place behind me. It's pretty awesome. So first impression so far is great. But yeah, we've checked in. We just gotta now drive in, find out wherever we wanna be, see what's free. It's not really like they don't give you a site and you have that. You can kind of just choose whatever. So let's go find. A good old camp spot. You keen, bro? Yeah, I'm very keen. Hey, bro, so how keen are you? Super keen. Yeah, that's more American style. Soleil. So we found our little camp spot just here. We've pulled up, and I'll show you a quick few things. First of all, we've got some donkey friends right next to us. How you doing, buddy? You a donkey whisperer, bro? No. <laughs> oh, fucking get angry. Not at all. <laughs> that's what my mum does when she's mad. Fucking get angry, bro. We have a nice place, eh? Pretty nice, eh? It's pretty After, good. After uh, 20 minutes of autistic leveling the van. Yeah. Yelta has a bit of a thing. His van must be perfectly level. <laughs> 
which makes sense. I'm just a little bit, I've never given a shit for some reason about that, so. Yes, but check out this, ready? This is pretty cool. This is my time-lapse place in the morning. So I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the 7200 on there, zoom right in, and it's gonna be sitting here. So if you're in the region, you can come steal my camera in the morning from right here. Nice stuff. How you doing, mate? And yeah, we're just gonna quickly set up camp, basically. We've, uh, I gotta go and have a shower, we gotta do some washing because it's been a couple of days of just shooting and not thinking too much about showering and keeping clean. That's not so good, so gotta uh, do that. But yeah, first of all, I'm just gonna set up camp and then uh, we're going to go for a walk into Assisi. Apparently, it's only 10 minutes into the town. What do you feel like for dinner? Maybe some Italian food because we haven't had any like typical. that's true we have it we, the whole time we've been here we've just been like grilling and doing random food like we that so super Aussie on the oh, trip we need some uh, Italian pizza and pasta with a lot of a uh, good uh, garlic a lot of garlic very good anyway time to set up and then we'll uh, show you around the city a little bit later one quick thing I thought I'd do so yesterday I told you I'd do a Polaroid of the day so I'm not sure actually if I'm gonna keep up with it but I almost forgot this is the photo of uh, there's some horses gone through a little tour through Tuscany. So that one is my photo of the day. Nice one. We're gonna go and explore the city and then have a little wander around. Mostly we're just going to go get some Italian food and check out the city. As we're about to enter the city, we've just come out of a little bush, bush forest. And look at the, wel the welcoming. Just for a yell tonight. What a glow. Everything here is crazy nice. I recommend coming to Assisi. Look at this, look, every single thing is just like picturesque. Session. These streets are pretty narrow. Not designed for cars, I guess, but you know, back in the day. That's why Italians have small cars, now it all makes sense. I just wanna look at these, these streets all day. This is incredible, bro. I mean, it's touristic, but not at all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's been no English speaking people here. Everyone's, uh, everyone's Italian. Look at this. Crazy. What even is this place? It's like every single corner you turn around is like Insta babes could take photos here, every single corner of this whole place. Look, nice door. You could take an Insta babe photo on. Look at this, there you go. Insta babes having lunch there. Insta babes would be taking photos down here. Look at that. Oh, look by that tree. All the Insta babes, definitely that arch. That's for sure an Insta babe spot. See, I told you, this is Insta babe heaven. So if you're an Insta babe, run to my venture van and come to a CC. You're welcome. We're on a little mission because there's a marble church here. We're gonna go and try to get there before sunset to get a bit of nice light on it. We'll have to so We're much, on a mission! So much light We're on a mission! <laughs> the shit you do for sunset! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, see, Insta babes also will go there. You're welcome, Insta babes. At the very end of this very long street, with many shops and places, you come to the most incredible place. Check this out. this place behind us just everything is cool here as I've said about a million times in this video now actually we haven't done any Italian food eating nope keen for some pizza and pasta my friend I need it right now let's go find out how a CC is with the food I'm just gonna take it out eh? my side good an appetit my friend oh fuck it's hot is it hot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, what have you got there bro? Sausage, sausage and cream, right? Yeah, pieces of pork sausage I think, and cream and pasta. And mine is the uh, tog togolene with <laughs> truffle. Truffle sauce, so, yeah, it is truffle. Anyway, time to eat, we're so hungry. Hey, so we're about to leave this little camp spot here, but I thought I'd just uh, give you a little rundown of how this place is because, you know, it's pretty awesome. Clean facilities, 
you need to take your own toilet paper and your soap, so don't forget that if you park in here because it's a five minute walk. It really feels like you're in the nature here, which I love because, you know, some camp spots, it's like, kind of feels like you're a bit too in a camp place. Whereas here, I just feel like I'm almost wild camping. So we parked right down the end. If you come here, there's, there's these donkeys at the end of the campsite. You're going with someone that has like a tent. You could have one person tenting in the, the, you know, the grass and you could have someone else here, which yeah. is pretty nice. We have anyway, uh, electricity here, both yeah. fans are parked up here. Exactly. So it's like a really nice spot. Yeah. The only downside of parking here is that it's about a five minute walk to the bathroom. So if you're someone who wants to be out right next to the bathroom, maybe go park closer there. And yeah, but besides that, I highly recommend it. We don't know the price of the place per night yet because we just kind of checked in and he'll give us that when we leave, but I'll put it up on a little pop-up on the screen here somewhere. We're gonna be leaving. We've got to go quickly do some washing and kind of I gotta have a shave and kind of clean myself up. And then we're heading off to a few national parks here in Italy. So we're gonna be pretty keen to check them out. A lot of wild camping, so that's why we've got to do the washing and kind of get ourselves a little bit more acceptable. Besides that, great job. Assisi, come, we highly recommend. Thumb of approval, but from Yelta. See you guys later, man. Very, Next very spot. Nice. Let's hit it. Let's go. Right, so we've uh, spent the last couple of hours now just sort of getting everything ready. As you can see, I'm a little bit more fresh. Anyway, the last quick thing we're going to do before we run off is fill up the water. Probably just going to the picture. Joking, it's water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>